friends, I have had so much fun this week learning about Jesus and his power. Can you review with me what we've learned so far? Day one, Jesus's power helps us do hard things. Day two, Jesus's power gives us hope. Day three, Jesus's power makes us bold. I wonder what we're gonna learn today. I can't wait. I'm learning so much. I'm feeling really good. I'm, I'm just, you know, God must be so happy that I'm learning so much. And wait, there's Barney. I'm going to go say hi. Hi, Barney. Hey, Miss Jenny. Wow. You look really ugly today. <gasps> well, uh, I don't think I heard you right. What? What? No, you heard me right. I said you look really ugly. Well, that's even if you can hear me. Your ears are so big. I sometimes wonder if anything's even getting through to your brain. You are being really mean. I don't even know why you're saying these things. Well, maybe it's because they're true. And maybe it's because you're not good enough. And God will never love you. And maybe it's because no one even loves you. Yeah, it's right. You'll never be good enough for God's love. Barney. You are really breaking my heart. And I don't understand why you're telling me all these lies. Well, I think they're lies. I mean, I'm not so sure anymore. I'm getting confused. Yeah, too bad. I'm out of here. <gasps> well, well, at least I have all my trophies and all the ribbons from the competitions I've won. Um, you know, God must look at these and think I'm good enough. I mean, he must look at these and, and I can be good enough to go to heaven if I just work really hard and I'm really good and I win lots of competitions. I can be friends with God. <laughs> yeah, right. You'll never be good enough. You could win a million trophies and a million ribbons and you still wouldn't earn God's love. Don't you know God's perfect? You could never be perfect enough to earn, earn God's love. And why would he even want you on his team anyway? You're hopeless. Too bad. I'm out of here. Whoa. What am I supposed to do? I want to be friends with God. But, but Barney says I can't ever be friends with him because I'm so messed up. <sighs> oh, hey, Miss Jenny. Oh no, what's wrong? It looks like someone ran over your pet pig or something. Well, I was just talking to Barney and he was telling me all these horrible lies about how God doesn't love me and how I'm not good enough to be his friend and how I'll never be able to get to heaven. Wow, that was really, really mean of him. Mm -hmm. But you know what? He's actually telling you the truth. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, no, Barney lies. That's what he does. That's all he does. He lies. Yes, I know. Okay, but he's telling part of the truth. He's not telling the whole truth. And you know, that's what Barney does. The whole truth is that we can never be good enough to be close to God because we're sinful. We're separated from God by all the bad things that we do, all the mean things that we think, and because we want to be in charge of ourselves. Yeah, I do like to be in charge. I don't want anyone telling me what to do or how to live. Yeah, and that's called sin. And that's a problem. But God didn't leave us alone to fix this big problem. <gasps> he knew we couldn't fix it ourselves. So he sent his only son, Jesus, to die a horrible death on the cross. But guess what? The good news is that he came back to life. Wait, why would God send his son Jesus to die for me? Well, because he made you. He created you and he loves you. <gasps> And he wants you to live forever with him in heaven. Okay, how do I get in on this? Is there a ticket I need to buy? Like, like a competition I need to win? What do I do? What do I need to do? No way. There's absolutely nothing that you can do to get salvation. No, it's actually a totally free gift. All you have to do is tell God that you believe you're a sinner. And Jesus came to take away all of our sin. So now you get to be a child of God, and that's called faith. When you believe that Jesus came to save you. Yes, I do want this free gift of salvation. Yes, I do want to be with God. I want him to be the Lord of my life. I can't do it on my own, and, and he's done everything for me. And that's awesome. And if you believe it, then it's done. Welcome to his family now. Wow. 
This is amazing. I feel so free. I'm part of God's family now. And I never have to listen to the lies Barney tells me. The truth is, God loves me. He sent his son to die for me, and Jesus' power lets us live forever. Friends, this isn't just a story. This is the truth. And in our little play, Barney isn't a real person. It's actually Satan. Satan is the enemy of God. Satan hates us because God loves us. Satan will try to tell us lies, and he'll even have people tell us lies. But we don't have to believe them because the truth is God gave us his Bible. And this Bible tells us all about God's love. If you believe that Jesus died for your sins, that Jesus loves you, and that Jesus' power lets you live forever, that's all you need to do to be in God's family. I'll see you guys later.